Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how can you change a calendar template which will be used by Project for the Web. First of all, I'm going to create a very simple project which will start at 9th of August and which will use my calendar template cre creation time zone template from 9 to 5. Okay, and uh, for this project, I'm going to assign a group, uh, assign the group blog project for the web, and I'm going to create one simple task, which will be task one, and I will add some columns like effort and start and finish, and I'm going to make it visible on the whole screen and I'm going to say that this task one will have five, day, five days duration and it will be assigned to John. Okay, so you can see John five days, eight hours per day, 40 hours. Let's say that 11th of August is holiday and uh, everyone in my company will not going to work. This holiday can be, for example, U.S. Thanksgiving Day, Christmas, New Year's, uh, New Year, or whatever you like. Okay, for that purpose, you should follow next steps and be careful because it is not an easy way to change calendar template. There are few steps which should be followed if you want to get a result when you're changing the that template. And for that purpose, I'm going to show you step by step. First of all, go to Power Apps. Okay, then click on Apps, then click on Project, and then go to Settings. As you already know, we have calendar templates here, and I'm going to change this calendar template. So I'm going to click on this, and I will see that calendar template, this my calendar template, is based on template resource, which is restores template creation time. Now, watch very carefully what I'm going to do and what is going to happen. First of all, I'm going to uh, click on resource or template. I'm going to work hours, and let's say that 11th of Wednesday is non-working day. So I'm going here, new, non-working, and I'm say 11th all day is non-working hours. So all day is non-working hours. I will save it. And after a while, I will have that 11th is non-working day for my template resource, generic resource. I'm going to save and close. And now I'm going to, I'm going back to my projects. I'm going to choose resources and I'm going to choose Ellen, John, Mary, Paula, Peter, Tim, and I'm going to set calendar for them. And I will say, okay, use this calendar template. And I will apply it. What am I expecting after applying this work hours template? I am expecting that each and any of the, those resources will have 11th of August day off. Let's go, for example, to John, and let's see in work hours. Nothing happens, so it was not applied. Change which I made to calendar template, and then apply that calendar template to that specific resource was not applied. It was not eleventh uh, of uh, August was not inherited from calendar template. What can I do? There, is a, uh, there are two simple steps which you have to follow. And those steps are, first, I'm going to select settings, calendar templates. I will choose my calendar template 
and I will delete or deassign resource template. Okay? And I will click on save. Then I will again assign the same calendar a uh, uh, resource from which I want to inherit work hours. So resource for template, and I will save and close. Okay, so once again, go to time uh, 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 to your template, deselect the one, the re template resource, and select it again. Now, when I I've done that. I can go now back to my project. I can go back to my resources. And now I can once again choose all those resources and I can set calendar and I can say, okay, now apply it again. What will happen now? After a while, when those work hours template will be applied to resources which I choose. I will see, it's a little bit slow, I will see that those hours, let's say for John, work hours are applied. So it is not just one step. You will not going once again to make a summary you are it is not enough to go to settings to calendar templates to use the template to use the resource template and then change one day or three days or whatever in your calendar as a non-working and then just apply this calendar to your resources what sorry what should be done it should be done that you should go to your settings once again to your calendar templates and after you change work hours and save it you should go back here deassign template resource save it and then again assign the same template resource and save it and then you you can go to projects to resources and assign a calendar to specific uh, specific resource. Let's go back to the, to my project. As you can see, nothing happens to to John because once John has been assigned, and see uh, at the time he was assigned. Wednesday was a working day, nothing will change. But if I now put task two, and if I say, for example, Mary, sorry, let me put here first five days and then Mary. And if I put Mary, I will now see that this, uh, uh, she will work only 32 hours. Why? Because Wednesday is non-working hour, uh, uh, is non-working day. What if I made a mistake? So what if I want to revert all back? So if I want to make this 11th of August once again as a working day? The procedure is same, but I will anyway show it to you once again. I am going here to my settings. I am going to choose calendar template. I am going to choose creation template from 9 to 5. I'm going to change the resource template, work hours. Okay. And now I'm going to say, I will click here and I will click delete. When I click delete, delete the event, this event, non-working hour will be deleted. And I will again have working hours uh, as it was before from nine to five. Now I should save it. I should once again deassign template resource, save it, then reassign template resource again, save it, and I will close it. And then I should go back 
to my project, to my resources. And now I will again, sorry, wrong thing. I will again mark Ellen, John, Mary, Paula, Peter, and Tim. And I will set calendar for them, the same calendar as it was before. After applying this work hours template, you will see that for uh, uh, those resources which were uh, being checked and uh, to which I applied this calendar template, let's say, for example, John, that if I go to work hours, Wednesday is not anymore non working day. So, to conclude, when you change calendar template. Steps are one, go to settings, go to calendar templates, choose your calendar template, choose your resource, go to work hours and change whatever you want to change. After you save and close, go to your time zone template, deassign the template resource and save it. Then reassign the template resource once again and save it. And then go to your project, go to your resources, and then click all, check all resources or select all resources which, for which you want that calendar to be applied on. And then set calendar and go uh, ch uh, and choose the calendar template which you want and apply it. And that will be all. And be aware that nothing will apply it back to resources already, which are already uh, assigned to, uh, to uh, existing projects. So if I want Mary to work for 40 hours, because uh, Wednesday, 11th of August, is not a, a, a time off anymore, I should do the assigning of Mary, and then assign Mary again, and I will have 40 hours again. So if you have multiple projects with multiple resources, which were assigned before you, you change your calendar template, you should have a lot of work. You will have a lot of work because you, sh you should find out any single resource on any single task, on any single project, uh, to which that calendar change uh, is applied and then deassign those resources and assign them again. Yes, it is complicated for now. I hope it will be changed in the future, but for now it is what it is and be aware of that. Uh, uh, otherwise, you will get wrong results. Thank you very much and have a nice day.